Okay, centripetal force. For an object, any object, to travel in a circular path rather than a straight line, there must be a force causing a change in velocity and a change in direction. We call that force, we call the resultant force that causes that change in direction and that change in velocity, we call that the centripetal force. Okay? If we remove the centripetal force, in this case it's given by the reaction force of the outside of this tube causing the ball bearing to, to push the ball bearing around inwards around that track. If we remove it, the ball bearing travels off in a straight line according to Newton's first law. Okay, so it travels round and round like that. As soon as we remove that, it travels off in a straight line. Now, there's something else called a centrifugal force, which actually is not a force at all. It's a kind of it's our perception of the centripetal force. As this ball bearing is going round the tube, it wants to go forwards that direction there. When it's here, it wants to travel. So when it's here, it wants to travel in that direction there. And that's the way its its momentum is taking, its inertia is taking it right now. However, there is a force pushing it inwards, the force of the tube is pushing it that way. What happens therefore is as that ball bearing moves from here and is pushed that way, according to Newton's third law, the force pushing it inwards, this force here, zero, the force on the ball, there is an equal and opposite uh, force acting on the tube by the ball that direction there. That is what is commonly known as a centrifugal force. It doesn't really exist. There isn't really a force pushing outwards, it's merely a reaction to the force pushing inwards. Okay, so if we go around a corner in our car very, very fast, and our car, our car turns a corner to the left like this, the resultant force of friction on our car is inwards that way, which means our car will, tr will bend around the corner. However, when we are sat in our car, we are trying to travel forwards in this motion here. So what happens is our, as our car moves inwards to the left, towards the centre of the circle, which is there, we will hit the outside right of the car, or the car will hit us, rather, uh, and will cause a force on our right shoulder, just here, and we, we think that, we call that the centrifugal force, even though actually that force doesn't really exist. It's just a reaction force as the car pushes us around the corner.